The White House releases its updated budget proposals, which could shape where funds are allocated next fiscal year. One America's Alex Salvi explains where the priorities lie within the Trump administration. The White House lays out its proposed updates for the 2020 fiscal budget, in which it initially called for cuts across the board. In a series of tweets on Monday, the president introduced his plans for where he hopes funds will be allocated and what projects he hopes to support. Perhaps the most ambitious program was the $1.6 billion awarded to NASA for space exploration, with the president saying the country is going back to the moon and then to Mars. This falls in line with comments made by Vice President Pence early in the year, saying a moon landing could take place within the next five years. That America will once again astonish the world with the heights we reach, the wonders we achieve, and we will lead the world in human space exploration once again. Now let's get to work. Education Secretary Betsy DeVos faced harsh criticism back in March when her department proposed nearly $18 million in cuts to the Special Olympics. The president put an end to that idea, saying the new budget retains those funds for what he called, quote, the athletes who inspire us and make our nation so proud. Once again, following up on words that he made earlier in the year. The Special Olympics will be funded. I just told my people I want to fund the Special Olympics. And I've just authorized a funding of the Special Olympics. I've been to the Special Olympics. I think it's incredible. And I just authorized a funding. I heard about it this morning. I have uh, overridden my people. We're funding the Special Olympics. Two of the proposals are for environmental initiatives. The first is a $300 million plan for the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative, a fulfilling a promise that he made to the people of Michigan at a rally earlier in the year. I support the Great Lakes. Always have. They're beautiful. They're big, very deep, record deepness, right? And I'm going to get, in honor of my friends, full funding of $300 million for the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. Which you've been trying to get for over 30 years. The other initiative was the Army Corps Everglades Restoration Project, which the president called good for Florida and good for the environment. Let's work together. We made the Corps of Engineers the lead. I think they have a fantastic lead. Everyone was in agreement of who that lead was going to be. And now we work with them side by side to say, let's get this done. Let's get this done in a, in a good manner that we put all of our ideas and thoughts together so that we can have an outcome. But that outcome is going to continue to develop. While the latter green programs may seem out of line for the president, Experts point out they help the populations in two crucial battleground states. And while these programs are merely proposals, they often lay out the priorities of the administration, but are often adjusted by lawmakers once they get to Capitol Hill. Alex Salvi, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.